LeBron is lucky enough to be able to have multiple iterations of himself, yet leave people wondering which version of himself is the best. There's four iterations. There's first stint Cleveland LeBron, there's Miami LeBron, there's second stint Cleveland LeBron, and then there's the Lakers. Now people are going to say, what's every team he played for? Of course he has multiple iterations. Correct. But... For a lot of these guys, it's because they switch teams. It doesn't mean they stayed that skill level or stayed the way they were. A lot of these guys got better. A lot of these guys got worse. I'm pretty sure Shaq played for six or seven different teams. How many of us are going to take Cleveland or Boston or Phoenix Shaq? Nobody. But LeBron, luckily, has been able to go to four different teams, or four different stints, rather, of himself and um, really challenge people to figure out which one is the best. And um, to me, I think he was at his best overall with Miami. I felt like he already had the gifts of slashing and playmaking, and he's always been a really smart player, good defender, but he never quite had the three-point shooter uh, next to his name, nor did he have the free-throw shooter, and I thought that Miami really unlocked that out of him. Um, he became a pretty consistent three-point and free-throw shooter, even having a season at 40% from three in Miami, which I don't think he's done since then. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think he's had a 40-point or 40% 40, uh, from the three-point line at all since Miami. But um, the only two, I guess, iterations that are really like neck and neck in terms of, okay, I can understand why you chose that one is 2018 LeBron because of how nuts he went. It's still second stint Cleveland LeBron. You can argue he was a better player than Miami LeBron. He just became more comfortable within himself. He became more of a, you know, a pretty reliable shooter when he wanted to be. And um, free throws dipped a little bit, but overall he just became more dominant and more dominant and more dominant and put together more and more dominant performances in his second uh, Cleveland stint. So... It's tough. I think first Cleveland stint LeBron is probably one of the most exciting to watch because you never knew what he was going to do. He was in his athletic prime, if that even makes sense, because the guy is still somehow in his athletic prime despite being, uh, you know, almost 38. But he would jump out the gym way more in his first stint. He would um, body more people, dunk on more people, have these crazy finishes, have these crazy chase down blocks. So many different iterations, you can say it's the best. To me, in order, I got Miami LeBron, second stint Cleveland LeBron, first stint Cleveland LeBron, and then LA LeBron. And again, that's not a knock on LA LeBron. He won a finals MVP while being LA LeBron. He just averaged 30 points a game last season while being LA LeBron. So, um,. It's definitely a debate. It's definitely a good one because there really is no wrong answer. They've all been great. But if you ask me which iteration is the best um, and most successful, frankly, um, I'm taking Miami LeBron any day of the week.